Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today is just another day of Travis Kelsey gushing about Taylor Swift on his podcast. What's new? Okay, if you missed it, it's been all over social media this morning. People, again, every time Travis Kelsey opens his mouth on his podcast to utter any anything about Taylor Swift, social media goes crazy. I love it. You love it too, I'm sure. And he just never fails, once again, to just say the right thing at the right time. So let's get into what happened on today's episode of New Heights, Travis's podcast with his brother, Jason Kelsey. They had a very special guest, Lil Dicky, aka Dave Bird. If you don't know Lil Dicky, he's a rapper. He also is an actor. He has a show called Dave, which I think some most people probably know him best from that if they don't know him from his music, but they had him on the show. And they were talking about how much the New Heights audience has changed in the last year or so, especially the last maybe eight months since Travis started to date Taylor Swift. Um, and, uh, and Jason Kelsey in particular was talking about how their audience now includes a number of Swifties and people who maybe don't necessarily, who weren't necessarily football fans, um, prior to Travis dating Taylor. And then Lil Dicky, God bless him, was so nice and just talked about how fun and how exciting the relationship between Taylor and Travis is. And this is this was his exact quote. I just think there's something that makes everyone feel like the world is kind of like high school where your most popular pop star, like beloved musician, somehow met like your most beloved athlete and they actually fell in love and it's real. I don't know. I think anyone who hates on it is a bitter loser. But I think a lot of people who you would maybe expect to hate on it actually love it and acknowledge they love it because there's something just so American about it or something. There's something so classic about it. Exactly. Exactly, little Dicky. Exactly. I couldn't have put it better myself. And then Travis, being Travis, <laughs> responded with, I don't know how I did it because she was not into sports. So I don't know how the F I did it, which is funny. And obviously we know exactly how Travis did it, which was calling her out on his podcast. And actually Lil, Lil Dicky like said that he was like, no, you know how you did it. <laughs> you called her out on your podcast. And then Travis said, I know exactly how I did it. Um, which I just love that Travis is still in awe of the fact that he's dating Taylor Swift. Like he still kind of can't quite believe himself and believe the fact that he's dating the most famous person in the world. Um, And it is when I, I think we all probably knew that Taylor was not a sports fan prior to dating Travis Kelsey. Like she never talked about sports. I think we maybe saw her at a basketball game like one time. Um, But other than that, she was not somebody who was particularly obsessed with sports. But it is funny hearing Travis say that she was not into sports prior to dating him. And now, especially watching her over the course of the football season, she seemed to be so into it and so passionate. And obviously she cares because of her. I mean, when when you love somebody, you love watching them do what they love, right? So that makes sense. But I think even Travis aside, I feel like Taylor just likes football now. Like, I bet you she has opinions about who teams should be, like, picking in the NFL draft and who she sees winning certain divisions next year. I bet you she, because she's also somebody who, when she likes something and she's into something, she dives in, she learns, she studies, she's so smart. So I have to imagine that she she knows her football now. I I don't think she's somebody who kind of half knows the rules or half knows what's going on. No, I bet you she knows the rules and she understands it, Um, which is which is funny. Then later in the podcast, um, Lil Dicky was asking them like if their lives have changed and kind of like how much how crazy it's been for them over the course of the last year um, with Jason saying that, quote, um, life has not changed that much. And then Travis just again being Travis um, proceeded to just gush about how much he's loving his life right now and how happy he is and how grateful he is. He said, I'm having a I'm having a blast in life, baby, just flying it, enjoying it all, bringing new lives to the football world, opening the football world up to new things as well. And you know what? That's the other thing that I think I love so much about Jason and Travis from the beginning, really from the first time that Taylor showed up to the Chiefs game. They have always been so welcoming of 
anyone who's interested in football, they they took time in their podcast to answer questions from Swifties who didn't know rules, who didn't know, who didn't understand what a field goal was or any other terms. They they took the time to explain. They've never made people feel bad if they're only watching the show because of Taylor Swift. I think a lot of other guys would have felt very defensive about it or I don't know, just would have handled it so differently. And I've always appreciated and respected the fact that they are totally cool with it. They're so happy to introduce the sport to new people. They don't mind that the worlds are colliding. Um, I just think it's really, really awesome. I think it's great. And I've always really appreciated that about both Travis and also Jason too, who, who seems to love it just as much as Travis. So love the episode. I love anytime Taylor gets brought up in the conversation. I think it's great. And, you know, a a lot of people are really wanting Taylor Swift on New Heights. And I don't think it's going to happen, honestly, until it probably will never happen. I think the only way it would happen is if Travis and Taylor get married. And if they're like officially legally bound to each other, then I think Taylor would go on to on the podcast, but you never know. Maybe she will do her Torture Poets Department press on New Heights. That would certainly break the internet um, if she even came on for like five minutes to discuss the album. I guess we'll wait and see how that goes down. Um, Okay, some other news just to quickly go over. Well, rumors and news, but have you guys seen the rumors that So Long London is going to be nine minutes and 28 seconds long? (laughs) Because I have just recently seen these rumors and if this is true first of all a nine minute long song very similar to all too well but also the parallels what this means is crazy so if you don't know long it's been long believed that taylor and joe alwyn started dating on september 28 2016 um that was she when she covered um september by earth wind and fire she changed the lyrics from the 21st night of September to the 28th night of September, which has made people think you, you'd only change the lyric if that number, if that date meant something to you, right? You wouldn't just change it to 28 for no reason. So a lot of people thought, oh, she changed it because that's the day that she and Joe started dating. Uh, and so because So Long London is definitely about Joe Alwyn, people thought, well, the nine minute, 28 seconds long song would be an homage to the day they met. Now, nothing has been confirmed. We have no idea. We will probably not know until the album comes out. But I just have to say that if if this song is going to be nine minutes and 28 seconds long, I think it has the potential to be as good good of a song, if not better than All Too Well. And maybe this is a a thing where she's learned, because you know, the original All Too Well, well, the, the All Too Well that was on the Red album initially is like five minutes something long, but she obviously, she had written a 10 minute version of the song, but she cut it down to five minutes and then she released the 10 minute version later. Um, And I wonder if now she's like, okay, clearly people like when I write super long songs. So I'm just going to put out the long song now and not do a shorter version, but then have them wish it was longer, you know, that, that whole thing. Um, So we'll have to see, but it's a very curious rumor and I wouldn't mind if it was true. Uh, And the next thing I think is just a fun little anecdote is Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling are on their um, press tour right now for the movie The Fall Guy. And in the movie, Ryan Gosling sings All Too Well, (laughs) speaking of All Too Well. Uh, And so in some press, they've been asked their favorite Taylor Swift song. And so I just felt like it's important to, to share that Emily Blunt's favorite Taylor Swift song is Cruel Summer, which amazing choice. And then Ryan himself said that he still has a soft spot in his heart for All Too Well. So their their favorite songs being Cruel Summer and All Too Well, which are two of my favorite Taylor Swift songs. Chef's Kiss. Love it. Um, so yeah, that is it for today's Taylor Swift news roundup, rumor roundup, all the things. Please let me know in the comments all your thoughts. Do you think So Long London is going to be nine minutes and 28 seconds long? Uh, is this just a rumor? Are we just being delusional like always? Let me know in the comments. As always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.